this is uh, I'm working on another cane, uh, working on another hiking stick, and uh, this is cedar <coughs> that I'm working on today, and uh, I like working with cedar. <coughs> I haven't let it dry out enough, but uh, I've had pretty good luck with it, uh, working with it, even though it's kind of green, and. Uh, uh, I haven't had any issues yet with it cracking and stuff. Here's a, a couple of more that I made over here uh, out of cedar, and I'm just kind of I'm just getting it the bark off of it and stuff today, and uh, and then I'll let it uh, sit for a day or two after I get the bark off. Really, you're supposed to use uh, dead wood uh, that you find in the woods and stuff. And uh, I haven't been that fortunate. Uh, I need to find a place uh, where I can go scout for my own uh, wood. Uh, this, a neighbor uh, has a deer lease and he brought me these cedar limbs uh, from his deer lease and uh, I didn't know how it was going to be since they were green, but I have really grown to love uh, working with cedar and uh, really like it. But I've got to get out there and find a place myself to where I can get some other uh, varieties of wood and locate some uh, dead wood that's already on the ground uh, that's of course not rotten or anything. But uh, uh, that's the best, is uh, working with the dead stuff. <clears throat> Not only does the bark come off easier with the dead stuff, but uh, it's just ready to carve. And uh, it's, it's a lot easier to carve on, wood burn on, and that's pretty much what I do. Uh, I like to carve some stuff on it, like to kind of mix it up and uh, uh, do some wood burning on it also. <coughs> uh, I've used a variety of knives uh, to do this. I have a, uh, I also have an open nail uh, this is a uh, open nail number nine, and uh, it works really good uh, stripping it off. But uh, I got this. Uh, uh, this is just a Rough Rider, uh, Rough Rider brand uh, Hawkbill knife, and this really works great. Uh, it's got the micarta handles on it. And so, with my nitrile coated gloves and stuff, it uh, it does a really good job uh, taking this off. Uh, a lot of people use the draw knives, which uh, that's basically what they're made for, and would probably do a lot better job uh, than what this is doing. But uh, that's basically what a draw knife is for. But I've been having real good luck with this hawk bill, and I love it. So I think I'm just going to stick with this. I uh, really like the job it's doing. And uh, so I think I'm just going to stick with this and continue using it. But this is the part that's. I guess you would say not so much more fun. It's, uh, of course, the designing is, uh, I think, is the best part. But uh, I enjoy making these hiking sticks and stuff. So, I mean, I like it all. This, this is my least favorite of the process because after this, uh, then I have to get my orbital sander out and sand it and 
and all that, but it's all a process. Uh, I enjoy all of it. I just like the carving and the uh, wood burning the best. That's the most fun to me. We're getting a lot of rain in Houston right now. I think we're uh, got a, some rain out in the Gulf that uh, may turn into a tropical storm, looks like, a little bit early. Our hurricane season usually doesn't come around until about June the 1st, but I think we may get a jump on that this year. But if you're interested uh, in doing canes or hiking sticks, I call mine hiking sticks uh, just simply because I like the taller ones. Uh, I like them um, all between four and a half and five foot tall. Uh, I guess kind of like a shepherd staff uh, type height. I just like those better. Uh, and plus, I think the uh, the regular canes. I don't think they would look as good with as much stuff as I like to put on them. Uh, I like to put outdoor related kind of stuff on them and. Uh, you know, a lot of the canes that uh, I guess an older person would use, uh, older person, I'm, I'm 64, I'm old, but uh, like uh, if they were like in a nursing home or, or something like that, I don't know if they would want to be walking around with a cane with uh, a carving of Bigfoot on it <laughs> or uh, outdoor trees, uh, mountains stuff like that on it, but I don't know, maybe they would. If somebody wanted one like that, I'd, I'd sure make them one. But uh, that's the reason I kind of like the hiking sticks. But anyway, I just thought I'd get on here a minute and uh, show you kind of <clears throat> the beginning process of uh, getting all the bark and stuff off. Like I say, a dry one would probably be much, much easier. All I've ever worked with this year has been the green cedar. So it's kind of a process to get that stuff off. But, uh, and I don't worry about having them straight like straight as an arrow or anything like that. Uh, I kind of like the deformities in them. I've got a, uh, a, a real good wood rasp and if there's something, uh, like I'll take these uh, knots where the limbs were and uh, file these off and, and make it straight as far as that goes. But I kind of like, uh, like the curvature in them and uh, that makes everyone unique. Uh, I don't really like them all straight. But uh, I started this one about 20 minutes ago. So about five more minutes and I'll have all the bark off this one and, and I'll start sanding it and uh, uh, start forming it up, getting it ready. But you don't need a lot of tools to do this. If you've got an orbital sander for other woodwork, you're pretty much set up. Uh, now I do have a uh, I do have a carving station over here. Uh,
I've got a little carving station over here I made. I've got where I've got my Dremel mounted. And uh, then I've also got a heavy duty grill bay uh, uh, rotary tool also. And, and that really helps. I can sit down there and then there's my wood burner. I've got a cold wood wood burner. And, uh, but that really helps. Uh, I just finished this one uh, the other day. Uh, I like to find them with the crooks in them for a thumb hold. That is really handy, uh, helping you get up or something like that. This one I hadn't finished. From here down to here, just above the first leaf, I'm going to wrap with black paracord uh, or some color. I, th I like black better. And then uh, uh, this is one I just did. I put some... Uh, I would burnt some leaves on them. Uh, their places, and there's my petrified wood. <laughs> I, love, I love that face. And uh, got some more leaves uh, down here toward the bottom. Oak leaves, sumac leaves, and then on the other side I've got old man kickstand. That's that fits me perfect. I need a kickstand sometimes. There's another leaf down here on the bottom, and uh, got some leaves up here, only up to up here at the top, and uh, that's that one. And then here's one I did here a while back. This is my uh, this is my trump stick. I just use regular rope on this. Uh, you know, there's no telling. You get out in the woods, and and you might need something stronger. And this is uh, this is three strand rope. So not only do you have this much, I didn't measure it, uh, coiled around uh, on the handle. Uh, if you needed that in an emergency, you can take that off, and then separate those three strands, and then you could have rope uh, three times the distance of this. And this is this is long too that I put on here by itself. I kind of put some leaves, carved some leaves on that, and then uh, here's a here's another wood spirit uh, I carved on him, and then there's the USA, and then Trump on the other side. Don't be a Trump hater. And some more leaves, and then. Uh, the wood guy up here on the very top. That, that uh, the regular rope may not look as pretty as the paracord, but gosh, it is just so much. Of course, you wrap it real tight, and then you sink it down in there, and and then I put some uh, gorilla glue, wood glue, down here, and then I separated a few strands in the middle, and then then on the end and then drop some uh, Gorilla wood glue down in there too. And I mean, this thing is tough. And it's got such a great big uh, handle uh, to hold on to. It's very secure, really secure. Uh, and that's my trump stick. And that's, uh, that's pretty much all I have right now. But, uh, going to be a whole lot more coming. Uh, I really enjoy doing these sticks. The only thing holding me back right now is getting, uh, uh, I need to get back out there and get some wood. There's a, uh, there's a big uh, carving I did here a while back. Uh, put a couple of uh, wood spirits on it. But, well, that's pretty much it for right now. And uh, as I make some progress, I'll, uh, uh, make a couple more videos. Talk to y'all later.